So look, I'm sorry, all right? Just to start off this video and see me like this, this is a nighttime video. This is a video about doing the girls wash and go with the aloe vera. So what can you expect but a bonnet? So I'm starting in here because it's kind of loud in there, but I bought two aloes. I need to cut them up, rest them in the girls hair, and then be able to wash it once they are done. I did this when Nala was about maybe about five months or so and it didn't work out well and I always said I was going to try it again. And both of their hair desperately need a wash. The goal is to rip up the aloe and blend them because I seen someone just do that. I'm not going to stress too much about getting the white particles out. <laughs> because we are gonna wash the hair immediately after so this should be interesting I'm hoping that it goes better than it went the time before but I am running low on time um, so this is just gonna be a lot of music a lot of just watching me because the girls is up late today um, it is 9 30 and typically they would be dead set in bed by now but they slept from five to like eight schedules are all over the place right now so don't even be bothered let's let's see how it goes i'm just gonna have to apologize for the aperture in advance this is the only way i can get lighting but this is the aloe so here we are with a little bit of voiceover now um i'm sitting here cutting up this aloe and it's kind of unexpectedly hard am i supposed to get all this out of the little tip part these little tips are sharp okay i underestimated it i'm trying to be cute with it show y'all what's going on but this thing was kind of harder than i thought it was it is very straightforward don't get me wrong that's a little side pieces there but getting the little tip part i just really wanted to like be like nah let's just do the bit pieces because the little cactus pieces ain't where it's at but we're gonna get it all out and doing the little sides and everything like that as you will see i will end up just making larger pieces i think it took a lot of time just doing this very precise pieces but um, hindsight the next time I do it I think I'll be a little bit better at it As you can see, yeah, I'm struggling a little bit trying to cut this. I have to warn you, this is very slippery and those sides are very sharp. I know I said that already, but they are, they hurt. So be very careful, but you do have to have a good knife for this. But that sliminess, yes, it's annoying, but that is the goodness <laughs> that uh, we're looking to have in order to put in the girl's hair. So uh, I know what, I need to do I know what the focus is so I don't really care about the slime nor the mess and by the way that yellow stuff does come up now this is the oil that I decided to put in the aloe just to help hydrate um, I tried to start it and clearly I can't because I don't have no blades in it so now that blades in it I am going to blend it up but I don't really know how long I should or, you know, how people advise to do it. I just blended it till I thought it was smooth and just put it in a bottle, which was kind of a fail in the end because it would not spray. So then I basically just decided to start pouring on the head because it just seems a lot faster. Again, this was really late at night, so 
I am trying to kind of rush and do this. So that's why the lighting's not the best. They're not taking that as they're supposed to, but we're working with it. Kids go through transitions. But as you can see, the aloe is making her hair really shiny, really moisturized, very curly. Uh, it's just making it have this little slip in it that is just making it easy for me to actually do her hair. She's not as bothered as she usually is. So in this moment, I am very, very pleased. Yes. And I really wish I could have kept this in her hair even longer in hindsight. But do you see the curls popping? Do you see the hydration? Do you see the shine? Yes. Yes, girl. Look at the curls. Yes. Ooh. Just in case if you're curious about what I use for their wash and go routine or even style or anything that concerns the hair, I have posted a handful of videos on what I do for their hair. So if you are wondering, uh, I did recently just post a video on it a couple of weeks ago so i just do my best to post it in the description box or in the cards above i don't really want to flood content of things i've been doing but just in case if you don't know if you click on the person's name who you want to watch the latest videos or any videos they had posted in the past um just click on their name and generally at the top you'll see a tab called videos and you can just kind of click that and scroll through all their videos to see anything they ever posted pretty much so that will kind of help see if uh you have any questions about anything nine times out of ten that person or even myself have actually made a video on it and before someone mentioned it because i'm starting to see it right now Yes, I do realize and recognize that I messed up by not straining the aloe. I supposed to strain it. I should not have thought that I can just rinse it out. I just like, hey, you know, if there's particles in the hair, you just wash it. It comes out. No big deal. Clearly, I was wrong. Don't make my mistake. Please strain it with like fitted wig cap or a stocking or anything like that. All right, so it is actually a few days later and I am adding to this video because after washing the girl's hair, it didn't work out in my favor. So I kind of got to redo the whole aloe thing. Plus I had got a couple different advices about A, whether I should actually rinse it out or keep it in. I get, apparently there's a couple of different ways you can use the aloe. But anyway, I didn't strain the aloe and Nala, has a lot of white particles in the hair which is forcing me to do it again so i think what i'm going to do differently this time is to condition the hair rinse it then add the aloe see how that goes but let me show you what happened so as you see it's very liquidy once it settles so i seen someone saying that you kind of got to blend it a little bit to let the aloe come out so I'm going to kind of pulsate it and then see how that goes. See how it's getting like foamy? That's what you want. That's, that's the, 
I don't know how long I should do it for, but I know that the foam is the good part, but it still feels kind of liquidy. I don't know. Let's do it a little bit longer. By the way, aloe has a terrible smell. Ugh, that was worse than before. I would say definitely, definitely, definitely for Noel. Her hair loves the aloe. Started clean, putting it in her hair initially and you see how curly it started to get and how pretty it got. Yeah, her hair really reacts well. Um, for my first thoughts of doing it to Nala, it wasn't really that moisturizing after light like, washing the hair and stuff like that. So I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Comment down below if I am. I'm trying to get this right. I, do, I can tell that her hair would like it. I can tell that there's a difference. But I just need to find the right combination of products to work with it. Because the hair coils looks very nice. Uh, even though it didn't feel as slick as when I just put it in the first time. So we'll see how it goes. So let me get the girls, put them in, and then we'll come back. Oh. Let's see if you can see it. But you see like it's all these little particles in her hair. And it makes it to where I can't any, do any styles because when I add water to it, all the little sprinkles are highlighted. So I know not to do that next time. So we are done. As you can see, all the little particles are still there. That's always great, but I really do like the aloe. I just really need to figure out how to get the stuff from not getting in her hair. I don't know if this is old or from this bottle. It's not that bad, but still. I don't want to really see it, but as you can see, it's on her face. But I'm just glad that I figured out about it. And I do think it works better in her now than it did previously. My synopsis, it is very hydrating. Um, I only put the aloe and oil and that was it. And her hair looks pretty decent. I like it. What do you think, babe? I think it. Sorry. <laughs> I think it uh, really moisturizes the hair, it gets a nice good texture and, and kind of slime feel, but like, you know, it's healthy and everything. Mm -hmm. The only bad part is it smells. It smells so and, and I'm, bad. I'm, it smells. So bad. <laughs> it smells like must. Like, yeah, it's like very musty. musty. Yeah. yeah, so I don't know. I'm wondering if I want to try the one that comes in the jug that they sell in the store. I don't know if that smells different. I don't know if that saves time. But I do notice that the slime is kind of not as slimy as it was when I first took it out and blended it because I can't get that foam. But it still is good. But yeah, I think that is pretty much it. Can't even really nothing to say. Besides that, try it. If you are curious about it, it's natural. It's not gonna hurt your kid's hair. So yeah, but don't be like me. Use a stocking cap, strain it. <laughs> And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's late. Gotta go. Love you guys. Peace. Peace.